When I look at the astonishing works of Choctaw Lakota artist Gene Iron Man Smith, my reaction is simply, wow. But that's not the portrait this artist would draw of himself. I don't look at myself as, as a wow person. I look at myself as a struggling artist. That struggle takes place in this one-car garage where Iron Man grinds out his art. Everything you see on this headdresser here is hand cut by me. You see no CNC machine. You see uh, no plasma. The only thing you see is a grinder, a cutting wheel, and a torch. Everything is hand cut. Temperatures in his sweltering workspace top 100 degrees as he wields the dangerous tools of his trade. Iron Man literally puts blood and sweat into his creations. I just don't come out here and produce art. I put a lot of heart and soul in a lot of these things. These fingers have been cut by a razor grinder so many times that you could see blood going in. A lot, so many sweat going in. But uh, there's also passion. There's prayer coming in right here and precision engineering in pieces like Harmony on the Plains. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of ingenuity, a lot of engineering on that buffalo because it sits on one stem and it's perfectly balanced this way and this way. That buffalo weighs around 400 pounds. So if you look at it, you can move that buffalo and it'll move either way. It's perfectly balanced. Iron Man's life is balanced on the advice of his father never to give up on his dreams and visions from his mother pushing him to do even more than his best. I still hear that in my ears, you can do better. And that possesses me to get better and better and better. And several times in the past three years, she, she has told me the best has yet to come. The reward Iron Man earns from his art is not money. That just goes to buy more materials. His real payoff, he says, comes from the reaction of the viewer. The look on people's faces when they see my artwork. It could be, it could be five bucks, it could be $5,000. And that has, to me, has no innate value. To me, is the passion of people looking at it and saying, wow. And now Iron Man is sharing with the world another vision forged into art that he simply calls Unstoppable. It is dedicated to the 39 federally recognized First American yeah. Nations in our state yeah. and what they can become with unity. I spent 19 months with Unstoppable. I spent more time with Unstoppable than I did my, with my wife. Out here, and I seen the seasons come and go. 19 months, you're looking at hot and cold and hot. And so, and a lot of, a lot of gloves, a lot of grinders, you know? Uh, and, and so, you just don't spend that much, 19 months with something and not get attached. Iron Man's triumphant sculpture is now a part of the outdoor learning area at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. An ancient touchstone in the shadow of the modern world and the product of visions, prayers. Any pisti nini kalo hoyate. And unstoppable dreams. I'll dream until the day I die, and I'll take a chance on my dreams and, and see where it goes. Here's how to find out more about this great Oklahoma destination. As always, TravelOK.com is your best one-stop shop for information about all Oklahoma has to offer. Please press like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.